Hello there, Reason People, Pooh Bear here and welcome to my channel. And today I'm just gonna do a quick installation of my new MIDI Kodak. And my MIDI Kodak is regarding MIDI channels. So I could have one MIDI port from one instrument utilizing all 16 channels, or I could have several instruments like what I've got set up. I've got my Korg on channels one and two, I've got a D70 on three, and I happen to have that um, FSB on channel eight. I can use one MIDI port to set all those devices up as well. First thing you need to do is get yourself to the um, Dropbox in the description, click on the download, and then obviously when you're prompted, you need to save it somewhere. Remember where you've saved it to. Open up that zip file. And you can see in there, there's a readme and there's a remote directory. And what we want to do is we want to copy that remote directory over. Again, I'll put descriptions in. Um, program data, prepare ahead and just drop it in there. You get prompted that there's a remote name already existing. Um, go for it. Um, also note, there's a little note, there could be one other location on Windows that you may have to install it to, but it's either one or the other, it's not both of them. And that's it, that's the installation done. Restart Reason, and it's so important that you have to restart Reason because Lua code and MIDI codex, in my particular case, you have to restart Reason for them to take effect. When we deal with um, mapping files and remote mapping files, we can restart them within Reason themselves. We can just all start and stop them. So we need to restart Reason for that particular purpose. And what I'm actually going to do now is I've already set up on this system. I'm using one port called NC port A. That's my MIDI port. I'm going to set up 16 channels um, on that particular port because I've got a device which is going to be using all 16 channels. I've done 14 already, so I'm now going to quickly add the last two. So I'm going to click on Add Manual. Under Not Selected, we scroll down so you can see the Pooh Bear. Click on Pooh Bear. Then you need to choose which MIDI channel you want. As I say, I want MIDI channel 15, so I've done the 14 already. And then you need to go and find your hardware um, MIDI port. In my case, I've, I'm using this um, NC Port 8, which happens to be a loopback. I'm gonna give it a name, which happens to be the same as the port name, and I put a 15 on the end. So in, when I'm looking at it within reason, I can track it, um, and there it is. So let's add one more, so I need 16 ports. Again, under not selected, I'm gonna go down to Pooh Bear. Under Pooh Bear, I need to choose my MIDI channel, which is gonna be MIDI channel 16, as I say. The name can be anything, but I'm gonna give it the name of my actual MIDI port, and it's gonna be MIDI channel 16, and that is, uh, and I'm gonna be using the in C port A. And that's it done, nice and simple. Now, to use these, all we need to do really is, is right click and um, lock them to different instruments. So under here, I've got all these ports set up. I've got quite a bit set up in my system. Let me zoom in, here we go. There's my 15, that's what I've just set up. And we set up 16. So again, if we scroll down, we can see, zoom in, there we go. I've set up 16 and it's that simple. Now, as I say, what I've got right over here, just as a little test, don't worry, I'm only going to play this just for a few seconds. It, this is um, my um, NC box. It's going to be pumping out on uh, 16 MIDI, uh, 16 sorry, channels on one MIDI port. And I've also happened to have this pulse, and the pulse happens to be going via the audio back to reason, but don't worry about that. I mean, it's going into audio and we're converting the audio into CV, and that CV is actually driving a piano. But that's something different, but everything else is going back via the MIDI. So let's just quickly make sure this is all working. This is voltage modular, by the way. So what we were just looking at there, obviously, was, was one device um, using a MIDI port utilizing all 16 channels. Now what we're gonna set up is, I say I've got my piece of hardware, which I'm, I've got my, my good old fashioned five DIN cable going from my D70 into my T1, which is configured to send that MIDI data and pass it on, which is again, and merging the data from my T1, which is again passed onto my FSB1010. And that again has got a soft through on it. So I'm taking all that data and pushing that through my UR22, which we're gonna be bringing into Reason. So it's basically very, very similar to what we were doing before. 
So I need to click obviously add manual, we go down, we find Pooh Bear, um, this time it's going to be MIDI channel one. So this is my actual MIDI port, it's this uh, Steinberg, so I'm going to select that. Difference is, I'm not going to call it Steinberg 01, maybe I would do, but because I don't change my hardware that much, so I'm going to call this Korg T1, and it's on channel one, so that would do great for that one. As I say, I'm going to be using MIDI ports uh, one and two for my Korg, so again, I'm going to click on add manual, manufacturer, Pooh Bear. So down from there, we can then select uh, channel number two, and again, it's going to be the Steinberg, there we go. And again, this is going to be Korg T102. Then um, I was going to add my D70. So again, exactly the same thing. So it's very straightforward to set up. This time I'm going to put this on port three. And yeah, same things coming in from the Steinberg. And let's just quickly call this um, D70. Oh, maybe I should have called it Roland D70, but that would do me. And the last thing I'm going to set up is my little uh, FSB, which is um, like those little buttons. I will admit, I don't use that this much in reason. I tend to use this more to control in OBS and uh, I tab my rack and I do all kinds of things. But when I do use it in reason, I use it on MIDI port eight. So again, and then in here, and then obviously I can turn this on and off quite easily. And this is my FSB 1010. Yeah, that's it. And that's on channel eight. Cool, off we go. So that's them all set up and uh, ready to go. Now, one thing you may notice is uh, it says the model like Pooh Bear MIDI Channel 01. And then if you scroll right up to the top, you can see it's saying the same thing, Pooh Bear MIDI Channel 01. It doesn't matter. You can also utilize these many, many times. It all comes down to um, having unique MIDI ports. Um, and that's what we've got. We've got different MIDI ports pointing to those models. Uh, now, if I right click and we can see the new stuff I've just set up. So there's my T1, T1, D70 and uh, FSB all ready to be uh, locked and to be used and utilized. And it's that straightforward. Everything's set up, ready to go. And in the next video I'm going to do in this little series is we'll actually look at how we can utilize, say, some controls from my, say, my D70. It's only got four faders and actually how I can use them four faders to control up to 32 knobs on, say, the combinator. And so we'll make out a combinator. Thank you for watching and bye for now.